nation's riot is back. So what, what would you do about the crime and especially dealing with drugs and alcohol in our community? Well, I'll tell you what I wouldn't do. Mm. I wouldn't do what the encumbered mayor does, mm. which is send the police force in like it's some kind of Gestapo and hurt not only the people that are committing the crimes, but the people that are not committing the crimes. That's what I wouldn't do. What I might do, obviously it, it, this, is a, uh, this is a problem in the community that takes a great deal of work, and I am not uh, ridiculous enough to think that I can solve this problem overnight, or mm. perhaps even in one term. Mm. But I think philosophically, the first thing that must be done is separate the wheat from the chaff. Mm. Fine. You see, the, the government knows who are the perpetrators mm. of this drug activity, of this violent activity. Uh, uh, the record of who these people are is very, very clear. Hi. Hi. This is Ryan. Erica. How are you doing? I'm Erica. good. It's good meeting you. Good to meet you. Well, Nations, what, what do you think? Look at that face. That's a winning smile. Yeah. I can see her headshot along with yours on the posters. The new Mrs. Riots. Look at her. Do you know how many more votes we're going to get? We're going to get enough votes to put you over the top. Hey, it's a winning situation. Kidding. kidding? No, I wasn't kidding. I wasn't kidding about winning. Look at her. You need a black female for your wife if you want to win in Oakton. I think we need some input. Input? On, on this we don't need, you can just make a decision. You're, you're in charge. There she is. Jackie. She's willing. She's willing and able. Thank you. And I, look I at that smile. It. I really appreciate it. I mean, Jackie! The way you guys look together, I mean, it's just wonderful. Um, I have no doubts that you're going to win. And I think Jack is going to support me on this. Okay, all right. You, know, you need to get dressed. Why aren't you dressed? I'm getting, we, we got no problem. Well, it's not necessarily a problem. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Erica? Yeah. Jackie, Jackie, Erica. You're going to be working with her. Hi. She's yes. going to be his new wife. We've all talked it out. He's going to get 43% more votes. Because of Thomas, he's happened. married already. I know, that's just a little a problem. This is going to be a solution. She's like old enough to maybe be his granddaughter. But she's going to win the election. It's pornographic. You know, I, 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 I don't need this stuff right here. What, what, Jackie. What are you thinking? I'm winning thinking winning. That's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I'm thinking winning, but not through like this theater of the any. absurd stuff. Theater of the absurd. This is the, we're going to win. Here's the winning ticket right here. Look at her. Look at that smile. Just look at her smile. She'll convince you. Look oh, at her. She's a beautiful teeth. Nations. It's not about this. Beautiful. Let's just ask Jean what she thinks. Hmm? Well, Jean doesn't need to be part of this nation. Make a decision. Make a decision. Look at her. <laughs> I, I think we better get Jean's input. Okay? Jackie. Oh. Okay, if you had to vote today, would you vote for Mayor Wright or Nations Riot? Mayor Wright or Nation's Riot? Uh huh. Okay, I'll call back later. Thank you. I mean, we have our ups and downs just like any marriage. But I think that we're rooted in a deeper purpose as well. Yeah. Which keeps us going, I think. I love you. Have you had to downplay at any time uh, Jean as your wife on, on the campaign since she's white? Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, sure, sure. Um, there have been, even inside of the <coughs> staff, some, some opinions and such. Uh, and we're aware that the public has opinions. But we've made the decision to stand up, to, to, to not hide, to stand up and be as truthful about who we are and why we are. Let the chips fall as they may. It, it, it could hurt. It could hurt the campaign. What could hurt the campaign? Not covering. Not, not when, when it gets tough, not separating so people won't automatically know that we're together, you know? Um. I don't know. Obviously, there was some talk of nations having mm. an African-American wife, mm. and I was just supposed to step into the background. For the, 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and that kind of stuff is going to keep coming up. And if we win, it's going to come more even. But in our own, but the wife was even auditioned nations. Yeah. I, I can't understand how that even happened. It makes me wonder. It makes me wonder. Well, I, I think back on maybe, it. Maybe, I mean, maybe this isn't a good time to talk about it, but no, let's talk about it. Oh, I hate these. Politics, you know? Um, of course it's ridiculous to think that you're going to uh, run a whole campaign with a fake wife. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, how could we even get away with that? I can't even believe that, anyway, what happened was one of our staff members decided that nations needed an African-American figurehead wife. Well, all of a sudden, I felt like I was back in some century, early century, 11th, 12th, 13th, you pick any, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And I didn't know about it. And um, since then, I, we've grown. That was definitely a stress. Well, that was the mistake. The, the, the mistake was not necessarily for the staff to think up such a ridiculous concept. Uh, what I can't understand is why you let it even happen. I don't even remember agreeing to it, Jean. Well, I, don't, I, I don't even know how, I don't even know how it got so far as to I mean, exactly, how did you let that, if you don't even know how that got so far, I mean, they had people lined up outside of our own home, which is our office. I mean, can you imagine how I felt? Yeah, and I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. Um, it ain't easy. <laughs> oh. So, did that happen uh, today or last night? Or last night. Last night. Were you, able, were you able to get some sleep? Are you okay? Oh, man, you know I cannot sleep in those hotels. Uh, we got an important day today. Uh, are you able to speak? Yeah. In public? I can talk. In public? We got a big crowd. I can always talk, Al. <laughs> you know me. I can always talk. Okay. I don't know if no you, problem. I don't know if you've heard, but there's going to be a rally today. There was another uh, child killed by the, by the cops. And, uh, and quite, there's a rally. Quite a cop, right? I don't know. It's a cop. What do you that mean the mayor, don't I don't know if it was a black cop or a white they cop. They killed the kid. And they don't. They, they don't know who killed him. They don't. I don't know if it was a black cop or a white cop. I know that the kid was black, and it was the Oakton Police Department that the mayor, the current mayor, supports. Two kids, one month, nine kids in a year. This is crazy, man. This it's is crazy. like a war zone. It's a What's war happening? zone, and the mayor supports it. And there's going to be a rally for this child. His parents are going to be there, and we're expecting close to a thousand people. We're going to the rally? You're speaking. Yeah? You're it. A thousand people? At least a hundred. All right. Let me, let me make a call. We're at the rally. There's no rally. It's a goddamn parade. He did. He did what? Well, where is he? We'll call you later. We'll call you later. The, the mayor put this parade together. <laughs> Canceled the rally. He's calling this a Unity Day parade. He was afraid of violence. There was a rally, and uh, he's nowhere for comment. He's nowhere to be found. What's that mean? What's that really mean? What the fuck, nation? I mean, he's trying to put a positive spin on this thing. Damn, it's a positive spin. 
on them killing that kid. That's why you have to win, Nation. That is exactly why you have to win. That's why we're here, man. Check that so, out. So that this shit doesn't happen. This is the wrap. Unless you want to go to a parade. Yeah. Let's go to a parade, Let's nation. go to a parade. specifically to keep us out. That's right. We couldn't quite be in it, could we? <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. You know, and that might we be a good thing. You know what? That might be a good thing. Check out how important it was not to deal with it. Right. Yeah? Exactly. Right. Yeah? So we might be having an impact. We're having an impact. Uh-huh. And if we ain't, he thinks we are. <laughs> Which is the same thing, ain't it? <laughs> It was brought to my attention that especially during the assassinations and the riots that we were having, yes. this is the kind of time that you left and you also have belonged to an organization called the PAC. Yes. yes. Can you elaborate on what was the PAC and was that your reasoning for leaving Oakland? Well, there have been people that have said that because I was a member of PAC, mm -hmm. that that was the reason that I left. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I left because it was time to leave. I left because it was time to expand our work. Uh, as uh, everyone remembers, the PAC uh, was, was, <laughs> was infiltrated. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was clear by the time uh, that I had left town that we could no longer do the work that we uh, had planned to do, that we organized and, and originally were doing because there were some forces that were almost running the organization. Well, I think it's clear that the government knew that if we were left alone to work on our own community, that we would raise the level of black people all over this town, and then there would be no, uh, no merely free labor around. There would be no scapegoats available and things of that nature. And so, uh, our sense is what the government was doing was nipping it in the bud before it got mm -hmm. powerful. I see. Very intelligent. Very intelligent move. I know they'll be here. I personally called them myself. No, I'm with you on this, Jean. You know, I'm with you. Gotten, if we could have gotten just three They're or four of the neighbors, out. we could have. I mean, look at this area, man. These are this is rich people and their money. $50,000 yeah. right here. Today. All we need is three or four of the neighbors, and we could do that. And I don't know would what, you be what, why, would the, right now? why would the neighbors support us, man? That's, but, yes, you know, that's yes, what I was saying about this. Yes, I would. Get a couple of them on the phone. Just Gene, uh, the caterer is still not here. You know, what are we going to do be about back. this? Are they on the phone now? Are they? No. Call them back. Tell them we need them here in 10. And we want it for half price. Give them directions. Personally talk them through it. All right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take care of it. Thank you. I hope so, man. <laughs> All you have to do is speak from your heart when they get here, and we'll have their vote and the fi fundraising that we need. And I Gee. wish you would have worn a tie. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the hills. 
Well, I'm actually here just to write an article, so I'm not sure about the support yet. <laughs> well, well, we it'll it'll happen. Happen. We'll see how your campaign <laughs> unfolds. I think when you, get to that. When you hear the nations. philosophy, um, <laughs> I think you'll figure out that it's time for the Herald to support us. Poor thing, you must get that from both well, sides. Uh, actually, my main reason for being here, sir, is the there seems to be a little refocus going on in your campaign. Refocus. Since you did start with uh, you were talking about crime, you were talking about youth training, mm -hmm. you were talking about economic development we're without neighborhoods getting hurt right. by Same that. Things, mm -hmm. absolutely. And then I, we started hearing that there might be some problems. Problems? As far as what? Well, just that starting with this fundraiser, for instance, that you're here... Are you suggesting that we run a uh, mayoral campaign without funds? Well, of course you need funds, but it seems as though you're abandoning your constituents. Thomas, Teresa Hughes from the Herald. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. See, Miss Hughes, please understand that we are standing on the same side. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. How you doing? Hey. Thank you so much for coming. Next Mayor Bolton, how you doing? Ahmad Johnson. Good meeting you. The Bomb Beverages, how you doing? You with the Bomb? The Bomb Beverages. Right on, brother. CEO. CEO. Tonight. Excellent. Ooh. I right see a here. Checkbook. <laughs> I'm willing to write you a check. All right. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, brother. Right? Yeah. Thank you. That's right. Exciting. Thank you, brother. That's right. All right. Yes. That's how we do. That's right. In community, yes. I do for you. <laughs> yes. You do for me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I want you to understand that there is more to our community than just what is in the bottom of the hill. That's right. At the top right. of the hill, exactly. we right. live also, and we are going to represent all of Hope. Right. Right. That's right. This is just one of those That's things. right. As you should. I'm going to write the check. Right, right on. But all people what I need from you, <laughs> okay? All right. We're beginning to distribute our beverages across the country. Uh huh. Yes. Right. And we need a good spokesperson. We need a is face. This like Pepsi? Mm -hmm. It's like Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't sell Pepsi. Okay. Our specialty is malt liquor. Yeah. Now, what we need uh, is your yeah. face I know hold on, hold on. on um. a billboard endorsing <laughs> the bomb um, beverages. That's no, right. I'm sorry. Tom, Think so about you that. Can't do that. Yeah. What are we talking? What kind of numbers are we talking here? We're talking, I'm right um, now. Nations, here it is. No, hold on. Hold on. Here it is. I'm willing right now to write you a check for $50,000. Nations. What about what we talked about? What about what we talked about? By the way, your ex wife is here. I have samples. I have samples. Thomas, do you want me to get samples? Why don't you go get the samples? Just a minute. Brother. I have samples. Just why don't you go get the samples, Thomas? Why don't you have them with All right. the samples? I'll okay. get samples. He could win if he was clear on what his what his issues are here. Well, one of there's some there are some conflicts going on. Children. I mean, he yeah. loves children. You should see him down at the daycare center. It's not just those photo opportunities uh -huh. like, like some politicians do to go in okay. and get the, get the photo opportunity. <laughs> he relates to the children. He okay. stayed there after the cameras were gone. Uh -huh. And he stayed there and he talked to those little children. And they actually listened to him and, and he could relate to the children. Okay. And that's one part of this. Is there a birthday or something going on here today? What's the... <laughs> He's just breaking your opinion. I mean, this is to show you how he can relate to the children. I mean, this is uh, what they do uh, at some of those children's centers. And he's, he's just good doing it here. Yeah, but he's a very playful, but he's also very dignified. I mean, he's someone that people will put their faith in. He has a history with that. Uh, let me, let me ask you this. Is, is, is Nations Riot his real name? Yes, all right, all right. Let's go. Uh, not like yeah. the politician uh -huh. that pretend. Yeah, you did. He can't break this thing. I think he's, he's not going to make any money. He's um. So it's not. Yeah, you're right. This is usually used for a celebration. Right. Right. And it's a celebration for us. This is our well, first shot at, at, at getting him elected, and we're going to win. Our chances are very good. 
Yeah, you seen I, the, have you seen the polls? Like I've seen the polls. the polls. And you're saying he's going to win? I'm saying that the polls show he's a person of dignity, of, of charm, and wit. I, you know, I think I have enough for the paper. I'm just, okay. Anything right, man. Break it. What's going on here? Yeah, what? See? Uh, this is a team. This is a team effort. That guy should be running for mayor. That's his son. Can you handle it? Hi. <sighs> not reason. Not is not. It's different. No, no. We cannot have this kid messing up the program. It cannot happen. Now, you know good and well that he's not going to deal with me, but he listens to you. So you got to tell him what to do. You, that that's what we lot, agreed, right? There's a lot at stake here. I don't care about the stakes. It's your job to handle the kid. You agreed that you do that job, and you got to do it, Clarence. That's all to it. Hmm. Are you capable of doing it? Because if you can't do it, then I know how to get rid of the kid. Do you really want to get rid of him? Of course I don't want to get rid of him. I want him to be in on it. But not if he's going to be a detriment. Yes or no? Can you handle it? I, uh... I can try. I... That sounds like a no to me. Well, not... Wait a minute. It's not necessarily a no. It's... Yes or no, it's, Clarence. It's... Yes or no. Yes well, or no. Well, look. Yes or no. Is if you don't answer my question, then no the answer is no, and I will take care you, of the kid. You know, nation. Which way? Nations. This situation has proved that That's we may have no had the there. same mothers, That's a no. That's but a no. maybe we didn't the have kid's gone. the kids The children are our future, mm -hmm. for real, for real. I, I, I don't just say that because it's a good thing for a candidate to say. The truth of the matter is, all that we do, everything that we do in life, is for our children sort of think that's part of the reason that he left. I mean, that he decided to get so focused on coming back to this country and dealing with the community centers and, and with the children and so forth was because um, we just couldn't make that happen. Um, and I, I really felt uh, very responsible for that because when he first came to us, to the Friends of the Friends, um, besides leaving the shootout, he also left out, he left, was leaving his, um, his pregnant wife and, and two pregnant girlfriends, so, um, and that's just that's sort of one of those kind of unsurmountable issues, I think, for, for couples. Because I would like to know, the people of my city would like to know, the voters of my city would like to know what you stand for, mister, because up till now, we don't know. You know, save it for the debate. Yeah, save it for the the only thing I heard from you is that my police department is supposed to be very violent. Now, that seems to me the most hypocritical thing I have ever heard in my life. What were you doing in the 60s? Huh? You and your gang, and I see you have your gang here yeah, 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 right. today. Yeah, you know, I've got a lot of tapes on you, mister, that we show exactly what your activities were like. Don't listen now, to them. now, who is this? Is This is your latest companion? Are, are you the good man's wife? I don't know insult her. <sighs> you know, these no. tapes would be very revealing to you. I think the, you might like to know about some of the shenanigans don't that were going on the among the so-called political group. Anyway, I just started. want you to know Nations, that I'm not Nations. afraid to use those tapes. I've got them, do with those tapes. and I may Nations. very well show them to the voting public. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Nations. Get inside. Come on. Let's go. Get inside. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Get inside. 
Did you get all that? Getting your message out to the public? Yes, as I said, we don't have the resources to, to communicate the message as thoroughly as our competition does. Um, and so if you're talking about are a lot of people hearing it, no. No, not nearly the numbers of people that I want to hear the message. But those people that do hear the message understand it, respond positively to it. And as we get closer and closer to election time, what we're going to find is those people are passing the message on so that we don't have to do all the pitching. Uh, because this is a campaign that supports the actual people, they will tell each other. In my community, the word gets out pretty fast, be it positive or negative. And since we're putting a positive message into the community, then that word will run through the community like wildfire. It always has, and it will in this case, too. So it's good now. Look at it. It's all in Spanish. Every single one of them is in Spanish. All these boxes, it's all in Spanish. There's no English. Mm -hmm. There's no Vietnamese. There's no... That's 7500 bucks. This campaign can't take a $7,500 hit, man. This campaign... This campaign, nation... What is happening with this campaign? I mean, I don't know, man. Even the Spanish, if it goes out, the Spanish are gonna read about daycare, they're gonna read nice stuff, not bad stuff. There's nothing in here about proportional representation. There's nothing in here about the redistribution of wealth. There, I thought that we were gonna have a campaign. When, you, when we got together and I volunteered here, we said, this is gonna be ours. This is ours, man. What happened to our issues? What's going on here, man? Why are you running? Let me ask you something. I gotta know this. I gotta know this. Are you trying to win or are you trying to get the issues out? Well, I, I, I Nations, you gotta tell me, man. If you stumble like this, if you've gotta think about that, then I've gotta think about it. Well, it's not as simple as we thought it was gonna be. Man. <sighs> you know? It is, nations, it is that simple. It's about us, man. It's about you, what you know in here, what you know in your heart. It's not about any of those other things, and it's not about any of those other people, it's not about me, and it's not about winning. Okay, all right, so, so what, what do you wanna do? We get to it, bro. We start talking the real stuff. We start talking about the redistribution of power, the redistribution of wealth. We start talking about making our city our city, a, p a city for everybody. Okay. All right, bro? Okay. All right. I'm with you, bro. Let's okay. do it. All right. Cool.